I'm Bill Mays, and it is a pleasure to present to you another stepping stone here on Wednesday, October the 27th. This month is almost over, and then there's just two more months of the year 2021. Oh, this year has passed by so quick. This stepping stone is entitled, A Car Without a Steering Wheel. Now that sounds rather strange. Why would anyone want to have a car without a steering wheel. Uh, most of us would consider that a silly idea because if there was no direction device, your car would go here and go there and finally crash into something that was uh, in the way of that car finally uh, without having any kind of steering device. Someday automakers may create a car like this with other means of steering. But for the present, some type of a steering wheel is a rather important part of our cars today. Various companies continue to run cars and trucks and other types of vehicles around our neighborhoods and nation that are driverless. And of course, we regularly hear of wrecks from these driverless vehicles where something in their technology failed. Unfortunately, there are many men and women in this world who are trying to go through life with no thought given to the importance of their steering principle or guidance system, like this picture of someone in England 
that got picked up steering their car with a pair of channel lock pliers locked on the hub of the steering wheel. These kind of individuals usually meet the same end as our unfortunate automobile. Many of them bounce here and there and all through their life, but they are destined to finally crash into something that ends up in the middle of their aimless lives. And then such people that crash and burn often wonder why they did not get anywhere with good in their lives. Jesus Christ offers the greatest goal for our lives possible with happiness and youthfulness now and forever. You can reach the goal of heaven if you keep your life headed in the right direction. Paul expresses it best here with set your mind on things above. Colossians 3 verse 2. You hear that? Set your mind on things above. Make it heavenly. Make it god center. Paul further expressed, brothers and sisters, I do not regard myself as having taken hold of it yet. But one thing I do, do you hear that? One thing I do, forgetting what lies behind, because what's in the past is in the past, we can't change it. Reaching forward to what lies ahead. No, he can only reach forward to the future. To really reach forward to something in the future, you have to set some goals. Well, guess what? He says, I press on towards the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Philippians 3, verse 13, 14. You see, what Paul was reaching forward and towards was heaven. Heaven was his goal in his life. Paul's goal was eternal life. You see, Paul had his life correctly aligned. Not all people who consider themselves to be church people have their spiritual steering wheel correctly aligned. And just like a car must have its steering wheel and tires correctly aligned, individuals must have their lives correctly aligned spiritually. Some, however, who once did may have let their lives become misaligned due to negligence and indifference. What is your steering principle? Is it wealth? Is it status? Is it sensuality or popularity? Is it self-centeredness? Jesus taught, I am the way and the truth and the life no one comes to the Father but through me, John 14, 6. We correctly learn of his way in his word, the Bible. Eternal life is the only worthwhile goal for our lives. But only Jesus can show us the proper way. Only Jesus can give us the proper steering for our lives. And so I ask you, are you following Jesus properly? Is there any spiritual realignment needed in your life? If we, the Crumb Church of Christ, can do anything for you, we would invite you to find our website, find our email address there, contact us, and let us know what we can do to be of help to you spiritually. I wish you the very best. I thank you for spending this time on this day for this stepping stone and I would invite you this coming Lord's Day October the 31st to come and worship with us at for Bible study at 9 30 a.m. and our worship service beginning at 10 30 a.m. you would be our honored guest we love you God bless and I hope you'll join me Lord willing next week for another stepping stone